Hello again, my name is Kaushik Naik and today I am here to explain about uh, what an application software component really consists of. The ASW layer within AutoSAR is organized and self-contained unit called atomic software component type. An atomic software component type represent a functional implementation of the application. Such small collection of software component together form the complete functional implementation of the system. Software component can be further categorized to atomic software component type, parameter component and composition software component type. The atomic software component type can pick any one of these seven component types based on the functionality. We shall see each and every component in detail and understand when and where to use them. The application software component type will be the most predominantly used atomic software component in an application. This component is generic and will hold different functionalities of the software, for example, performing calculation, decision making, etc. A real example to mention here, if you take a start-stop functionality, an application software component can hold the algorithm to calculate and decide when to stop or start the vehicle automatically. Such functional implementation can be planned in application software component. NV block software component is used whenever we have a requirement to save critical information in the hardware memory that needs to be reused in future. This component type acts as a bridge for the application software to access the NVM manager of the basic software. To explain in general about NVM, NVM stands for non-volatile memory that can keep the stored data even after power off and can be restored during power on. Example, if an application software component is responsible for calculating the total kilometers that the vehicle has traveled, it needs to save this information in the NVM memory during, uh, during shutdown and restore it back during driving cycle. This, this, this case, we can introduce the NVM block software component and access the kilometer variable that is calculated in the application software component and pass it on to the NVM manager. The NVM manager in the base software will further be responsible to save it to the NVM memory and restore it back to the application during startup. CDD or the complex device driver is a specialized layer provided from AutoSAR in different case the application need to access the hardware in a faster way. It's mainly when we have time critical features where the communication passing through different BSW layer would consume much time. It also acts as a layer to access few standardized interface from the base software that AutoSAR has not specified to access from application layer. Example, activating the airbag or fuel injector can be time critical. In such case, if the message passed through the BSW layer is consuming additional delay, the CDD can be used to pass the information from application to microcontroller directly through RTE. Please note that RTE is not bypassed at any case and all information should flow through it even though it's time critical application. A service component is mainly used from the base software to provide services to the application layer. The service component takes few special rules that they can be part of system composition and they are very bound to the ECU level. For example, if you pick up the base software module like the base software manager or the diagnostic event manager, they provide services to the application software and they can be modeled as a service software component type. A service proxy component is used if a particular service is to be used from a different ECU. AutoSAR methodology says that an application component can be dynamically placed on different ECUs during system level configuration and in this case the access to the base of 
software service might be from another issue to access. In such case, service proxy component can be used. ECU abstraction software component is a part of base software that acts as an interface between the MCAL layer and the application layer. A microcontroller inside an ECU may have many external peripheral to access like HBridge ICs, PowerStage ICs, etc. To access and write drivers for such external peripherals, ECU abstraction software component is used. We can have multiple ECU abstraction software component in the software and this purely depends on the number of external peripherals we have. A sensor actuator software component is the opposite connecting end of the ECU abstraction software component from the application side. This component access an interface layer between the external sensor or actuator to the other application components. This software component takes care of the sensor data conversion from the raw, raw data provided from the sensors. For the actuator, it takes care of sequence and controlling the external actuator based on the input command from the application. A parameter software component is used to provide calibrations for a project. These calibration parameters that are provided from this component can be used in all other software components. This software component is a bit special compared to other components with few unique rules. The parameter software component cannot have a C file associated with it and it's only a configuration. Hence, this component cannot have a functional implementation or contribute functionally to the project. This, co this component cannot have a receiver port and has only provider port to provide calibration alone. Let's pick an example here. In case we need to switch on the headlight automatically when it's dark, we could use this component to provide a calibration parameter with a light intensity cutoff value. This calibration can be used by other application component to determine when to activate the light based on the light intensity. The light intensity cutoff calibration can be then fine-tuned during vehicle production. So, such kind of calibration inside a project can be clustered into parameter software component. Composition software component is again a non-functional component type. This can be imagined as a container in simple terms that can have aggregation or collection of software components. They are used to cluster components based on functionality. A composition can also cluster other compositions as well. Compositions do not have a separate implementation C file but it has an important set of configuration of the component it holds and communication between them. We have a separate video on this and you can find the link in the description. With all the information obtained from software components, we shall look into a practical example and understand how we could use the software component types we need. Let's consider this requirement use case and we design an AutoSAR solution for this. The requirement goes like, we have to get vehicle speed from external speed sensor. If the speed is more than the calibrated set point, then the following action should be taken. Cut off the injector immediately and stop the vehicle. Log an error through the diagnostic module. In parallel, the application should calculate the maximum speed that the vehicle was driven and save the data during shutdown. The same data should be restored to the application when the ECU is powered up in the next driving cycle. So this use case, we will try to realize it. Let's start from the input first. We first need an external speed sensor that is connected to the ECU. Let's assume that the sensor input is already available on the digital I.O. pin of the controller. So now, from the application point, we first need an ECU abstraction software component that can read the corresponding I.O. pin 
and calculate the count, count information of the pulses that the speed sensor provides. So we need an ECU abstraction software component here to do this job. The next part of the application layer we would need to read the sensor data. So we introduce a sensor actuator software component here to interact with the ECU abstraction layer and get the sensor pulses. The sensor actuator software component further calculates the speed based on the sensor input with some calculation inside. The component can be coded to calculate the speed in different units, for example, kilometer per hour, meter per hour that the application software needs for further processing. Next, we need an application software component to perform the core logic of requirement to cut off the engine when it crosses a particular speed. Hence, we introduce an application software component that gets the calculated speed from the sensor actuator software component and does further processing. In parallel for our core calculation, we need a calibration parameter. This is required from the application side to decide the high speed cutoff value and this must be tunable during production. For this use case, we introduce a calibration parameter software component that can provide this calibration parameter to the application software component. Now the next requirement says that the fuel injection should be cut off immediately when the speed exceeds the calibrated value. When we say immediately, it is expected that there should not be any minor delay to this operation. Hence, we introduce a complex device driver to make the cutoff operation faster. CDD is introduced that can take the cutoff command from the application and set the corresponding I.O. pins of the controller so the injector is immediately cut off. The next requirement is to log this as an error entry for diagnostic purpose. For this we would need the help of base software diagnostic manager to handle it. So we introduce a BSW service component for diagnostics and this comes as a part of BSW development. The application component will be connected to the service software component and in case an event happens, the application component can pass on the information to the service component. That diagnostic manager further takes care of handling this error entry. The final requirement is to save the maximum speed that the vehicle was driven in the driving cycle. The application software component will calculate the maximum speed and this has to be saved somehow. To do this, we introduce a NV block software component that creates NV block for the application which further gets the data from application software component and passes on to the NVM manager of the base software. To save the data, the ECU has an external data flash IC which will be handled from base BSW layer like the memory abstraction layer. If noted, the application layer need not bother much on how to save and retrieve the data and it all depends on the base software and its abstraction layers. Uh, the other way around, during the startup, NVM manager handles the restoring of uh, speed data from external memory and passes it down to the application layer using NV block software component. The properties and setting of how the variable has to be stored and retrieved are all controlled from the configuration in the uh, NV block of component. Hope it is clear on how to choose the right software component for your application now. That's all for this video. Let me know if there are any query on this topic in the comment section. I would love to answer those. Don't forget to hit a like button and also subscribe to my channel to be up to date with the upcoming videos on some other topic of automotive embedded system. Bye for now.